California's drought getting worse by the week. Take a look at this two week comparison on the left. The latest report showing 59% of the state in red for extreme drought. Compare that to about 40% last week shown on the right. And despite urgent calls to conserve, many communities are still not getting the message because water use is up. But not everywhere. KPIX 5's Len Ramirez shows us. Well, in a year when there was virtually no rainfall the first three months of the year, the Santa Clara Valley Water District says water use is up 30% compared to 2019 levels. That is, except for here in the city of Milpitas. If you're looking for a community that knows how to turn the water off, a good place to start is Big Bend Drive in Milpitas. Here you'll find many of the homes have already ditched their front lawns for good. They've been replaced by hardscapes or drought-tolerant landscaping that requires very little water. And those homeowners who still have lawns are letting them brown. Kathy Shaw says it's a way of life on this street. We just had to cut down, just period. You know, it just was something that we needed to do. The Shaws replaced their lawn with drought tolerant landscaping during one of the last droughts about a decade ago. It's on a drip system, uses less water, and is very low maintenance. We're just doing our part. But it all adds up to big savings. The Valley Water District's latest drought report shows Milpitas is using practically the same amount of water this year as it did in 2019, when other communities are using much more. San Jose is up 31%, Morgan Hill 46%, and Parisima Hills which is Los Altos Hills, is up 119%. Obviously, that's something we can't sustain. Our water supplies are dwindling, and we need people to conserve water. So how is Milpitas doing it? Councilmember Anthony Fan says the city added its own rebates for re-landscaping, wash water diversion, and even cisterns to collect rainwater. Milpitas is uh, really going above and beyond. Uh, we're partnering with the Valley Water District and we're doubling uh, the amount of rebates that residents can earn. Fan says homeowners can save up to $5,000 on a project. He also says the city passed its own water restriction ordinances that allow for watering only three days a week. Violators get warnings and or citations. This is something that uh, I think uh, is unique in uh, the region. Later this month, Valley Water will consider adding so-called water police that will do enforcement actions for water wasters region-wide. In Milpitas, Len Ramitas, KPIX 5.